Okay, this is our uh, feed room and our harness room here at Windy Hill Farm. And I wanted to show you <clears throat> how we hang our harness. Now, it's a little dusty here today. It's been dry and and had much rain lately, but um, this is how we hang our uh, harness and store our harness. And notice how each harness has its own rack. And uh, we're very cautious to do this in an organized way where we hang our uh, collars up and we ride on the sides. That way we can control which ones we're using for which horses. So we have all types of harness. We've got uh, harness for ponies and minis and donkeys and, and halflingers and medium sized and draft horses. So we're able to keep everything here organized, okay? Um, and I think it's just important to show people how when you hang these harnesses, to do it in an organized way where when I take the harness off and I hang the harness back up, I'm able to have everything to where it's not tangled up. So when you take your harness off your horse, kind of take it off like you're getting ready to put it back on and hang it up here like you're getting ready to put it back on because it never fails. You got multiple horses to harness in the morning and you can't be out in here um, <clears throat> fumbling around and tangling around, you know, with your harness. So there is a procedure to this and in our other videos we've demonstrated on how to um, to do that efficiently. Um, you know, we hang our bridles up here, the different type of bridles and driving bits, you know, they all have different purposes. <clears throat> like this driving bit right here has a drop shank on it and that's to keep from pulling the bit through the horse's mouth as you're driving. Okay. This is a bit that we use that just comes with the bridles as kind of a cheap chrome bit. We don't like it. I mean, but it's comes with the harness. Uh, this is a custom bit that we have made for driving that has the lozenge, like a French link bit that we like very much and we highly recommend. This is a bit Malin uses called a Kimber Wick. Driving bit. Gives you a, a curb under the horse's chin. Some horses need that. So, you know, as with the riding horses, you know, you got different things for different purposes. And you just got to know what to use and when to use it and when to quit using it. And uh, that's what kind of makes this a, um, a challenge and a journey for us all to learn what to use and when to use it. Thank you.